fuck is up, my bridges? If you are new here, hello, my name is Brittany, and happy hump day! <laughs> if you're following me on Instagram, you know the struggle with realizing if it's hump day or not. It's like a whole thing. So, today's video, I'm going to be doing a video comparing the two new Hourglass palettes that are available now for holiday on the Hourglass website, and they should be coming to Sephora. I'm a big Hourglass fan as far as their powders go. Complexion, questionable, but their powders, let me tell you what. Every time I talk about their powders, the bronzer specifically, the highlighters, the setting powders, like powders in general, I feel the Hourglass formula is one of the goats because it just, it looks incredible on the skin. So I typically do pick up the holiday palettes just because they, they work for my skin tone and it's just an amazing value for what you get. I think in my opinion, this is solely based on my opinion. I wanted to show you guys these in comparison though, because you guys asked for this. I wasn't going to dedicate a video to this just because I feel like they do like the same things over and over and over again. Like if you buy these every single year, you're probably not going to see much of a difference between them. But I was pleasantly surprised when I got these because I did get them from the Hourglass website and I paid for overnight shipping because content. <laughs> so I did get these actually yesterday. It came super quick. It was actually overnight shipping. And I just basically wanted to demo them because I was pleasantly surprised with what these actually look like in real life because I feel like it's no secret Hourglass has pretty much gained the reputation of you can't really trust their pictures and what they actually look like so packaging beautiful and I feel like you're seeing an accurate representation of what my palettes look like now if you're unfamiliar with Hourglass as far as their powders go they have this, basically, like, this sort of a texture to them where they have, like, the swirl with, like, a bunch of different colors in it. This is basically what, what I'm talking about. No two palettes are going to look the same. So you could see my palette and be like, oh, my God, that's perfection. That's beautiful. But then you could get another palette that the shades look lighter, the shades look darker. That's the one tricky thing about shopping Hourglass with that specific, like, swirl type of texture to it. So... Another reason why I wanted to compare these is because when you see the picture, you're like, are they different? You know, which one's better? Which one's going to better suit what I'm looking for? You get it. And I feel like there is a pretty good difference between the two palettes. So I'm going to use one on one side, one on the other. I know there's going to be a lot of other creators doing videos. So I have, I would say right now, like light, medium skin tone with neutral undertones. If you're that complexion, this video is for you. If you're a different complexion, you're going to want to watch other videos. And that goes for any makeup video. Like, <laughs> just for reference, I'm wearing the Dior The Forever Natural Nude Foundation in the shade 3.5N. Just so you know exactly what you're looking at, I try to keep my settings, like, realistic to what I look like in real life. We'll see how this goes. So, again, big fan of Hourglass. I've purchased these palettes in the past. The Ambient Light Bronzer, one of the faves. And you know what? I'm going to throw this in here because I think this is still available on their website. The strobing palette, hot fire. One of their best palettes in my opinion. So I'm not going to really get into like the nitty gritty details. Their face palettes, they do these every single year for holiday. I feel like most people are just going to be like, what does it look like? Right? That's what I'm here for. Good morning to all the bitches in the live chat. What's good? What's popping? If you guys have questions on the way, I'll try to catch them. Got questions? Leave them in the comment section after and I will do that for you. I'll answer them. So if you have not seen the Hourglass Holiday Collection, it's three different palettes. This is, like I said, it's what they always do. It's what they always fucking do. So they have the deeper one that's all the way, if you're looking at the screen, it's all the way to the left. I knew right then and there that's not going to work for my skin tone. So it's an easy pass for me. But the other two, I really like getting the variety. Again, they suit my skin tones. There's that, but I do like to see that there's progression within the hourglass range. Listen, there's a fly in the background again. There hasn't been a fly in here all day. And as soon as I turn the camera on, I've got two fly papers up right now. <laughs> fly, go somewhere, damn it. <laughs> so these palettes are going to retail for $80 a piece. And then the three pan is going to retail for $64. Again, if you want to see other videos, they're going to be on YouTube because I feel like this is a pretty like hot come out hot commodity during the holiday time. So I want to jump over to the website just so you can see 
the different shades that are in the palettes because in the lighter palette, so you have the ambient edit lighting, the universe palette, and then there's the universe unlocked. So in the universe palette, you've got five different shades, which this is different from previous years. Typically they do six shades. So that's one thing I don't really love because I'd rather get more of less quantity because first of all, hourglass, this, this bronzer took me about 10 years to pan this because their powders just last forever. They're much more of like a sheer formula in my opinion, but very buildable. And it's overall just the finish that they have on the face is why I love them so much. So you've got the five shades, the ambient infinity powder. This, this powder is fantastic. I don't know if it got the best reviews, but I think that this works amazing for my texture. And I'm going to show you obviously today, you've got two new blushes, you've got a new bronzer, and then you also have a new highlighter as well. I'm going to apply these all on my face. You're going to see those in a moment. So this is the ambient lighting edit palette. And then I'm just going to jump over to the ambient lighting edit universe unlocked. So the this fucking fly, I swear. It's like, bitch, I know you got fly papers up. I'm going to bother you anyways. <laughs> so the ambient edit universe palette. Let me just tell you what, I love this packaging. I think it's so pretty because it's what the powders look like and I think the powders are so beautiful. So anyways, we've got three new shades and two of them are repeat shades. I know not everybody's a fan of that. I do wish that they would do just like all new shades, but that's just me and my opinion. So you've got Radiant Light right here, Rose Heat, Coral Flush, Radiant Bronze Light. I typically use what, Luminous Bronze Light, that's the bronzer that I own that I just bought another full size of. And then you also have Solar Strobe Light. So again, two blushes, bronzer, highlighter, and basically like a finishing powder. So there's that. Let's go into my opinions on the packaging and then I'll get into the demo because that's what you guys are all here for, right? So packaging on the Universe palette, it's obviously a different color, but it has that marble effect. The reason that I like this more is because of this right here. Look how dirty and dingy this looks. <laughs> I like, I love the aesthetic of this, but as far as keeping this clean, keeping it scratch free, good luck. Same with the other one from last year. It's just like, it's fingerprint heaven. This, you're not gonna have that same, you're not gonna have that same issue, right? So this packaging is actually tin this year. Same with this one. Instead of being that like, durable plastic the packaging is different and it's magnetized so one thing i actually do like about this is it's heavier it feels like it's more i don't know like to me i think this feels better it feels like my shadows are more protected because these do shatter very quickly because they're that baked formula so i actually really really like this packaging I like the overall aesthetic and I like the fact that it has the magnet. It just doesn't, uh, this, this is like one thing that kind of tripped me out because on previous palettes, you have this like little lip right here. So <laughs> it almost like dips down. These new palettes don't do that. It's like the whole lid. So it looks the same, but the whole top actually comes out. So there's that. You've got the sticker on the back, which this doesn't piss me off as much because it feels like it's supposed to be there. Like it's not crooked. It's aesthetically pleasing. So you've got all the information on the back. You've got all the shades. You get one or 0 0.14 ounces or four grams or 0 0.04 ounces, 1.4 grams times four. And then, oh, so that's like, must be the ambient infinity powder is that 0 0.14 ounces, four grams. And then the others are all the 0 0.04. You get it. 12 month shelf life made in Italy. I think it's going to be probably the same on the other side. Yep, exact same thing, made in Italy. I think they're cruelty-free and vegan now. Um, I think that's all the information you probably guys are going to care about, right? <laughs> so let's get into actually applying these, shall we? Right, that's what you're all here for. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Like, are you impressed with the way that they look? Are you not? Are you curious? Are you not? Are you getting them? All the things. And I'm just going to start applying and see what you guys are saying. Packaging upgrade, thank you! I see... I'm sure some people aren't really going to like it. I personally do, especially since it feels heavier. But I also really like the whole, like, it's not going to be scratched to shit. Like, these feel like they're going to stand the test of time as far as, like, what it looks like in about a year. <laughs> so, let me grab... I'm just grabbing my bronzer brush. What other brush do I need? Because I forgot to grab these before, as usual. Blush brush. 
other blush brush. I'm, gonna, I'm just grabbing them all today, and then I'm going to switch them up to see what we like better for this formula. Tamara, we went through all the shades. I think there's four shades in one of the palettes, and then two new shades in the deeper palette. I think that's it, right? Okay, let's get into... Let's just apply it. How many times can I say that? Let's just apply it. Let's just go in. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Waiting for mine in the mail. Now let's talk about shipping while I'm applying these. So I'm going to first start with the Ambient Infinity Powder. I used this the other day as like a straight up setting powder with this dirty ass <laughs> blender puff. So I'm going to try this again. Because this is how I like to set my face because I like to actually, wait, which side do I, I want to use it on this side. I like to actually like push my powders into my face. I do have the mineral, was it the mineral veil setting powder? This fly is going to drive me crazy today. It's like taunting me. <laughs> so I did put the loose powder on first, but from what I have heard, from other people is it's almost like too luminous on some people's complexion. Like to me, I'm like, it's so subtle that it doesn't bother me. And then two, it's almost like with the Chantecaille powder, it's just like, where'd your texture go? I don't know. This powder works insanely well for my skin. And that's why I was really excited to see this in the palette because I don't know, like, even if you saw, what video was it? I actually applied, because I have the full size of the Ambient Infinity Powder. So I was actually debating this one myself. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to compare the two, fuck it. <laughs> because everybody, like, my audience was asking for this video. So there you go. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm nervous to try Ambient Infinity Powder. All the other creators are saying it's trash. Well, I must have the unpopular opinion because I actually did a dedicated video to the Ambient Infinity Powder and it was when the Unlocked Mascara came out. If you want more context on this powder, I have large pores, I have texture, and it makes everything look better. I said it. Okay, I said it. I might have an unpopular opinion, but it's fine. That's the beauty of makeup reviews. <laughs> I'm drinking orange juice, by the way, today, guys. All right, so let's move on to... Let's do the bronzer. What brush do I want to use? I was going to use the refer number four. Like I just took out all those brushes and I already lost them. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do bronzer with my refer number five, not the number four. So I'm actually kind of surprised that this bronzer, at least the way that mine looks is actually deeper than the bronzer in, or at least that's how it looks in the pan. It's deeper than the one in the Unlock palette, which I feel like this palette is probably better for, like, light skin tone, like, fair light skin tones. And then the Unlocked, I feel like, is probably ideal for... I mean, I feel like I could use either. I feel like even light may be able to, may be able to use either. But you may want to be careful with the, what, the Unlocked palette if you are, like, a fair light skin tone. But since I'm, like, light medium to medium... I think that palette is going to be ideal for up to probably like tan, maybe, but it's hard to say because then again, these translate so different. Like that's one thing that is super unique about Hourglass is they translate so different on your skin. It's very strange. That's where like when people were losing their shit over the pictures, it's like, I don't lose my mind over pictures because they always look so different in real life. I say that about so many different products, not even just Hourglass. I'm always like, like the Natasha Denona palette, for example, that looks so different in real life. So whenever I see like these super um, like professional pictures, like yes, they're professional pictures, but it's like, is that what it looks like in real life? I think these actually look pretty spot on to what they look like in pictures. So bronzer, very natural. I mean, exactly what I love about Hourglass. It has that, like, slight radiance to it. Fucking stunning. I love it. I love it. And that just is what it is. Okay, let's move on to the blush. I'm going to mix both blush. Or I'm going to start with probably the lighter. So I'll probably start with the one that's on the bottom, this one right here. And then I'll put the pink on top because I feel like that pink is going to really, really take over. And how I typically use these palettes anyways I usually do mix them because I'm like, why not? So I use these palettes like every single time I travel. I always bring them with me because it literally has everything that I would need in the palette. The bronzer looks good. Thanks, girl. 
All right, so I'm going to start with this blush right here. So this one is one of the new ones. And then another thing I wanted to mention, because I'm sure some people want swatches, I'm not even fucking wasting any of our time. <laughs> because let me tell you something about Hourglass. They do not translate the same in swatches. They just don't. That's where I feel like, especially with these palettes, especially with even the, like, um, ambient, was it the ambient lighting edit volume three, watch videos. If you're that curious, because they are a hefty price point, watch videos on how they perform. Because if I were to swatch these, you're going to be like, there's no fucking way I'm spending that kind of money on them. And I was the same way. Like it took me a long time to invest in hourglass. But when I did, I was just like, Oh, I get it now. Like I get why they're so expensive because I feel like there's products like they're not comparable at all. Like, I've heard that there's dupes for certain products, and I'm just like, nah, nobody does it like Hourglass. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go in now with this one here. Like, that bronze, or that blush is pretty, but am I going to wear that all the time? Nah, I'm going to I'm gonna liven it up a little bit. So I'm going to take some of the pink blush as well. Just again, I want to, like, make sure I'm really reiterating it to you guys. Like, your palette may look slightly different just because of that, like, the swirls. And it's like that even with the full size and the travel size of, like, the permanent line. Yeah, that's much more my speed right there. And it's like, look at that glow, and I didn't even put a highlighter on. You know? That's why I love them. And it's a highlight effect, like, that radiance. Like, it's not accentuating texture like crazy either. Like, they're just so ideal for textured skin and mature skin, I think. But... Take what I say with a grain of salt. I say that every single video almost. I'm like, your opinion may be totally different. Like, your experience may be totally different. Your preferences may be totally different. It's always important to remember that shit when you're watching videos and buying products. Because, let's be honest. Is this anything revolutionary? Nah, they do this shit every single year. So, I'm going to use the highlighter in this palette. And then, not that we really need it, but bam, bitch. Bam, bitch. So, it's going to accentuate a little bit more texture. Oh, let's see. Ashley said, well, Hourglass having their 20% off sale soon. I'm not, I'm not sure, but, um, Sephora friends and family that's coming up in about a week. That's another reason why I wanted to do this video pretty quick, because if you guys were interested in it, that'd be the time to get it. Like, should you pay $80 for a palette? Hell to the nah, because why? <laughs> if you're not a content creator like I am, like what would be the point of buying it at full price? You know? Wait for a sale. There's lots of them coming up. And then I'm just going to spray the side of my face with the hourglass. Like, today's an hourglass day, baby. <laughs> so, here is the Ambient Edit Universe palette. What do we think? Are you impressed? Is it different? Is it the same? How does it compare to other videos you've watched? I think I saw Jenna Frey's Morgan Turner. I didn't watch their videos yet, but I saw that they posted already. And there was one more, and I can't remember who it was. And as I see them, like, if I see any that are, like, amazing reviews, I'll make sure to share them, but it's obviously not hard to find. Like, type in Hourglass Holiday 2021 on YouTube and you're going to find people. <laughs> so, here's this one. Now, let's move over to the Ambient Edit Universe Unlocked, right? Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked. Damn! Same sort of a packaging. I love this again. This gives me the vibes of the original Unlocked except I like this packaging better. Same thing with the, like, the tin packaging. Oh, let's see. This was literally my favorite palette that they've ever done. Just because, one, it doesn't have the swirls, but it has a really beautiful, like, sheen and texture to these. But I like this because it's like you knew what you were getting. So I feel like if you're worried about, like, the swirls and, like, possibly getting... The shades that aren't really appealing, like if you want, say, because one thing I notice a lot, like with the blushes and stuff, I noticed this especially with the uh, the ambient blush when I got the shade Heat Wave, like a bunch of people started buying it and everybody's look so different because with my Heat Wave, it had a lot of concentration of the deeper, with like the deeper spectrum of it. And with this one, like mine, I feel like is definitely favorable to the, like the deeper pink with the little splashes of the lighter pink. It could be opposite for you. I just really want to drive that home for you guys if you're unfamiliar because you're going to be like, wait, it looks so different. So with this one, you've got the one bronzer that has like the swirls, which 
I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. I do wish that this palette had the six. I wish that they both had the six, but like six pans I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm looking at this palette though. I'm like, for my skin tone now, like, are some of these going to work for me? That's where I was just, I was surprised. Because if anything, I feel like the pictures online actually do capture this pretty spot on. So let's get into, let's do the face. I'm going to do everything the exact same way. I'm going to use, I think it's called dim light, right? Radiant light. I'm going to use this one as like my finishing powder because... That's how I would use it. I know some people use like fluffy brushes and stuff, but I'm going to use it the exact same way. And I think with the Infinity Powder, it was like a mixture of three different of the permanent finishing powders, I think. So this one is just like basically the single. The Infinity was a mixture. Yeah, it's like, I don't see a sheen. It's like so subtle. That's where, I don't know, I remember this did not, or the Ambient Infinity didn't get the best reviews, but I like it. <laughs> so let's go to, I'm going to use the same brushes. I'm just going to try to dust them off in between. Dying to see what the magenta looks like. Girl, same. Like I'm way more gravitated towards this palette than the other one, but I'm still really happy with the other one. Like, I'm really happy with how this looks right now. And I didn't have on any, like, cream bronzers, contours. I just had concealer and foundation on. Okay, so that was Radiant Light. Now let's go in with the bronzer. So I'm a little surprised at this bronzer. I just expected it to be a little bit darker compared, like, in comparing it to, like, the blushes and everything. But when you pair the blushes, it may... It may change the way that it looks. So it's like, if anything, this bronzer is giving me more than this one. But when you look in the pan, it's got a lot of concentration of the lighter spectrum. So yours may look different. Make sense? <laughs> so let's see. It looks matte compared to the other side. It might change as I add the powders, though. You know? We'll see how it goes. Because it's just like, it escalates so quickly, right? Let's see, Ali said, how do you sign up for friends and family or do you need someone at Sephora? I'm pretty sure a Sephora employee has to send you an email, but I'm pretty sure that starts on October 1st. So if you know anybody, check Reddit too. I know Reddit is always sharing, like, if you post something or if you post your email on the Reddit post, like, people will email you. I don't know. I've never done that. I usually find something somehow. <laughs> usually it's from one of you guys. <laughs> So, I mean, if there's any support employees watching, if you want to help us out, let us know. <laughs> so let's start with, for the blush, I'm going to start with the pink. No. Yes, I'm going to start with the pink and then I'll do the magenta because I think that's going to be so beautiful. I saw Victoria James was here. Victoria, are you doing, I'm so used to calling you Vicky J. <laughs> Did you buy these palettes? I'm so curious because I want to see these on your skin tone. I need to know. I need to know. Let's see. The bronzer is really soft, but still very pretty. Totally. So this blush, this is the thing with hourglass. As, as I always say, it's like, it's so subtle, but it's the overall effect on the skin. So it's more buildable. So, I mean, if anything, it looks crazier in the pan than it does on my face. But yeah, the bronzer, I actually prefer the bronzer in this one. But I still prefer Luminous Bronze Light over both of them. Just my preference for my skin tone. Alright, so there's the pink. Now let's do magenta. I'm still using the refer. This is the refer number four. I'll have a link to refer as well because... Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> now, I love a heavy blush. Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh, bitch. Ooh! We gotta blend. We gotta blend. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's like so, di I feel like that's so different for Hourglass, like being that pigmented, right? Whoa. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, Victoria, she said she bought, she bought the trio. So if you're deeper complexion and you want to see, Victoria, how would you describe your skin tone? That way, if you guys wanted to see a review on a deeper complexion for that trio, I cannot get over that fucking blush. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, boop. 
<laughs> or maybe boop, boop, boop. Wow. But the bronzer, I mean, it looks like it's more now, but it's because of blush. <laughs> Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. That's, in my opinion, that's very unlike Hourglass to be that pigmented like that. So let's go in with the highlight. Like this highlight, I'm like, this could potentially be too dark for my skin. So wait, am I on the right side? Yes. There we go. Oh no, that still works. Oh my god, I'm so curious how this looks on other people. Holy shit, like, the blinding. <laughs> Ooh, yes! Cut through pigment! Yes, Mo! Mo, did you get these palettes? Give me the tea. She's like, I probably didn't, but I'm gonna get it now. <laughs> I would love to see your review on these, because damn... Damn, I'm so shook at that fucking blush. Holy cow. All right, let's go. This is just the uh, soft focus setting spray, I think. One of the goats for setting sprays. Wow, I'm like so surprised. Like, I definitely went a little too overboard there. So, with all that being said, which one do you guys like better? I mean, they both still look beautiful. This is more of like a summer moment right here. And this is more of, I could wear this whenever the fuck I want. Uh, let's see. Ronnie asks, is the, is the magenta leaning warmish? This side. I think so. How do you guys think it looks? I think it does. Oh my God. That's like a moment. Mm, but texture, like you could definitely see the texture. Oh, so pretty. I just feel like I live my best life on the boat and I just got the most beautiful, like this almost reminds me of like a sunburn moment and I live for it. I'll be curious to see that blush like by itself without the pink, like without this one underneath it. But I know like just with how I use these palettes, I know I would like mix everything all together. I can't wait. Oh, of, of course she did. Of course she got all three. <laughs> so guys, keep checking for other videos because I'm sure they're all coming. Like I said, I just, I paid for overnight shipping. So I got these super quick. So let me show you guys really quick too. Because I feel like this was probably the most popular. Like I feel like this got really good reviews. A lot of different skin tones liked it. I wanted to compare these two side by side. That way if you had one, you're like, okay, but do I need this one? I feel like these are definitely different enough where it's okay to have both because you're getting way more pigmentation, especially with the blushes. I still really love the, like the overall aesthetic of the original Unlocked is so beautiful. The only thing I would change, this is one thing I don't like about the new packaging is like, it doesn't stand up on its own. Like the other ones do. It's, it's more like flimsy because this is so heavy. So it's, I, I feel like the weight that you do feel with these, it's because of the magnet and the mirror. So take that with what you will. Overall though, like I still really like the overall, overall aesthetic. Okay. Comment guys. I see. Let's do one, two. Which one do you guys like better? Number one, number two. Getting back to the packaging aspect. Yeah. It's just like, there's things I like and things I don't like, which is fine. If I were to change anything about this palette, this is the ambient, the edit, unlocked, universe, or universe unlocked, whatever. You, you understand now. I would say I wish that the bronzer was darker because that kind of throws everything out the window as far as if you want that really bronzy look. But after all said and done, I feel like they do like complement each other, if that makes sense. And I wish that there was six instead of five. That's basically my main critique so far. With this one here, I'm going to have the same critique. I wish that you could stand up the mirror. I wish it wasn't so flimsy. I wish I had six pans. I think overall, though, like, I, I really like both. <laughs> I do really like both. I'm really happy, and I'm happy that it's different enough in comparison to, like, the rest of my collection of hourglass palettes i'm gonna compare these two side by side so this is last year's i think it's last year's holiday palette you see how like 
you see how that blush at the center up there, how it's got so little of that deeper pink and so much of the light pink? That's what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm referring to like, it's going to look, it could look different, but like, see this bronzer right here? This is what I would have expected in the Unlocked palette. Something like that. But it's the swirl factor, you know? <laughs> in other words, get them all! Do I think you need both? Both would be $160. Like, that's so ridiculous and so expensive. I think a lot of people buy these for gifts. Like, if you want to get somebody a really nice gift that's a makeup lover, this would be a fantastic item for that. It's just, overall, I think that they are improving as far as giving us more within the two palettes. I mean, obviously, they could do better. I'm just, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, like, this one definitely surprised me a lot more. But I'm still really into, I'm still really into both of them. But it's overall what you're looking for, what you like. But do I think you need both? Nah. I think, obviously, get which one better suits your skin tone and call it a day. Watch other videos. There's a ton of other creators on this platform that if you want more feedback, anything like that. Because, I mean, the main thing that I think of is that Ambient Infinity Powder. Like, that got such a wide range of reviews on that one. So, take this with what you will. I've got a hair on my face. Do you guys have any questions before we leave for today? I've, I see that there's 91 people watching and 58 thumbs ups. I'm going to need you guys to all come through and like the video. <laughs> Let's see. Jessica said, I never, I never used last year because my blushes were so light like yours. I think that's why I don't reach for this one that much either. Like when I travel, this is the one that always goes with me. If I were to travel now... If I were to travel now, I would probably take this one just because my skin tone would get much deeper on a vacation. So I think I would take this one now. But just be mindful that these do shatter pretty easily. I do recommend buying from the Hourglass website just because they package so much better than Sephora. Like, y'all know the struggle with Sephora. They have, like, your shit just, like, bouncing around in a box. Granted, the return policy is fire, but if you want that better shopping experience, I mean, you don't need to pay for overnight shipping, but when you do, you actually get it overnight. <laughs> I've had really great experiences shopping through Hourglass's website, but Sephora, I mean, saving that 20% is very nice as well. I don't think that the unlocked palette, though, is available yet. So just be mindful, like, it'll probably come up. I know that you could buy this one on, like, early access a couple days ago, I think it was. But I don't think it's available now. But as I see it, I'll make sure that I share it on either my Instagram or, uh, like, my community page or something. Have you ever used them on your eyes? I have not. Should we do that for today? What were we at? 33 minutes? Let's do it! I have not. Because I was just like, people want to see these on the face. So that's all I was going to do. But when in Rome, right? All right. Let's do which side's which. All right. I'm going to do the lighter palette on this side even if I just wanted to throw our bronze I don't know I would I would not use them like this but I think it's just because I have it such in my head that these are face palettes <laughs> let's see what blush color did you prefer I like this like at first it looked crazy but as it sits on the face I think it does look really nice I think that um if I had to choose between the two, I would lean towards the unlocked just because I really like how there's like that magenta and then there's also a pink. But with the lighter palette, so the ambient, ambient light, the universe palette, there we go. <laughs> I, I couldn't really see that much of the blush shade on the bottom. So like this one here, like it still showed up, but it's not something that I would reach for all the time. Unless it's fall. Like I really, cause I really love a blushy moment. So that's why I'm favorable that way. But I mean, they're both still pretty. But if I had to pick between the two, just knowing me and my preferences and what I usually go for, I would, I think I would still gravitate towards the unlocked. Oh, uh, let's see. Our class is return policy is good as well. When I returned the volume last year, I had no issues. Well, that's good to know. I don't think, I don't think I've, I remember I had an issue with our, like, forget what the hell it was though. I ordered something and like somehow the order got 
screwed up. I don't even remember what the hell happened. But, I mean, their customer service, like, adjusted it. It was, I had no problems either. So I've had great experiences shopping through their website, but that's good to know about their, uh, their return policy. Thank you, Victoria. I mean, can I still call you Vicky J, though? <laughs> because it's so stuck in my head. Victoria. Oh, let's see. Oh, I forgot about the hourglass. At oh, fuck! Hourglass is available now at Ulta, but I haven't seen these palettes yet. Oh, I want... How did I forget that? I literally just bought hourglass from fucking Ulta with the 20% off. I'm such an... I'm such a dumbass. Guys... I, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> wow. So I'll keep my eyes peeled if these do come to, or if these come to Ulta. Because if they do, that's the place to fucking buy them. Ronnie, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised too. I thought they'd be like that. No, sorry. Like you're stuck with it. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes peeled on Ulta though. Because... Oh my gosh, especially, like, I don't know if that 20% off Prestige is still good or not. Because that's how I bought my, my full size of the Luminous Bronze Light. Somebody had asked in my, my bronzer declutter as well, like, is Luminous Bronze Light ever in the palettes? I don't think, I don't think it's ever been in, like, the holiday palettes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Guys, what do we think? I mean, not too shabby, right? It works, but is this what I'm going to go for? Probably not. Probably not. But you never know. If you're in a pinch. So this is the lighter palette. That's all I'm going to do for now because that's all I feel like doing, to be honest. <laughs> so let's go. We're just going to do basically the same thing on the other side. I'll do just the magenta, basically like how I did this eye. So I'll do the bronzer and the crease again. Yeah, I wish... I wish that this bronzer was darker in this palette. I'm not going to lie. Just because even when I'm more tan, I would definitely want a deeper bronzer. So I'll be curious myself to watch other videos to see if other people's bronzers are different. Because I think, I'm pretty sure the bronzer in this palette is the one that is one of the, like, the permanent shades. Yes, we're going to be in the eye. Oh, oh. Oh, I think it's in my go. Oh, I didn't get the ghost. I didn't like the packaging on the ghost palettes. I did do a giveaway though for like the quad. It was like the blush quad. That's when you know I love a product when I do giveaways with it. Like I think I gave it away by itself last year. Was it last year or the year before? Let me do that magenta blush. I'm st <laughs> like shook. <laughs> Shook over the magenta. And then this is the Sonia G. It's from that Lotus collection. The Builder. So, I mean, if this is what you're going for, it works. Like, these definitely work. I mean, they're powder, so they're, in my opinion, like, they're gonna work for eyeshadow. Let's see. The packaging is so beautiful. Morgan Turner was like, it looks like raw meat. I was like, no. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't think it, I think the packaging's beautiful. I really like it. Look at Morgan with the unpopular opinion. No, I, I, I think this packaging's beautiful, but I can understand why if people don't like it. It's very, I don't know, it's like, I feel like they just fucking nailed it for, like, the hourglass aesthetic. Like, you can't tell me you don't look at this and be like, oh yeah, that's in, like, an hourglass powder. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I, I started hearing that about the, <laughs> about the NARS in my bronzer declutter. And I'm just like, I think that packaging is beautiful. Like that's the last thing that I would have thought of with that packaging. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it accentuates your texture so much. I want that purchase stamp. It looks so pretty too. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have textured skin, but that's where like literally everything I wear accentuates my texture. So... That's just, I don't know, compared to a lot of my other products, I think, like, the highlighter is what really did it. I don't think I needed to put a highlighter on, but I'm glad that it has it. And at the end of the day, I have texture, so it is, it is what it is. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie says I see ribeye. But 
I'm glad that you gathered that from the today's video. So I'm not going to take offense to that. Like, it makes your texture look so bad. Well, I just helped you save 80 or $160, so I love that for you. <laughs> All right, so what do we think? Do we like the lighter palette? Do we like the deeper palette? Yeah, I'm going for this one. This is just... It's beautiful. This is still beautiful, though. Don't get me wrong. I still love them both. But if I had to choose with my skin tone, my preferences, it's this one. I wish, like, this is where Hourglass is fucking it up. Why have they not done a custom palette for holiday? Just wondering, why the fuck has that not been a thing yet? Like, give us singles. Give us some singles, give us some new ones, and let us do a custom palette of six pans. Thank you so much. I feel like especially with this packaging, it would probably be really easy for them to do that. Might be a little bit more spency, but I wouldn't even care. Like, I would love to customize a face palette for holiday. 2022, where are you at? Hourglass, come through. If you guys would like to see that as well, let us know. So you guys like the lighter one, the lighter one, deeper one for the eyes. <laughs> I mean both, fuck it. <laughs> Pamela, both. Deeper. I love it. Let's see. Carly Bible. Let's see. Carly Bible palette. Oh, was said it was fish eyes, but I ignored it. <laughs> Some of the shit people come up <laughs> come up with. Yes, please, custom. Like, how have they not done that yet? I'm so surprised. But anyways, guys, we've been here for 41 minutes. I hope this was helpful. I hope if I if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm very happy, which I went into this knowing that I was going to like the way that it looks on my face. Don't get me wrong. It's not for everybody. It's a very specific, I think, look to your face with Hourglass. But that's why I love them. So it's like, yes, it accentuates texture, but not as much as a lot of other things do. It just... It's like the effect on your face. Like, if you were to see me in real life, you'd just be like, she looks like an angel came down and kissed her face. That's how I always explain it. Because it just gives you the most, like, beautiful, luminous, radiant, everything. I love it. I love their powders. And nobody could tell me nothing. If they do custom, they'll be like $500. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But it's like, it's worth the entertainment. Like, let's entertain the idea. I don't know. Like, I would be good with paying, like, a hundred bucks for a custom hourglass palette, right? Yeah, that's true. That's a hundred percent true. <laughs> I wish the bronzer was in the larger pan. I could totally see that. Like, yeah, like, I don't need... I don't need an Ambient Infinity Powder that's this big. Like, I would have definitely... Yeah, I'm with you there. I would have liked to have seen this in the full size. Yeah, I'm with you. I like that idea. Let's see, with how much they charge, <laughs> probably 300 <laughs> I know, you're probably right. Ah, oh, fucking hourglass. So helpful, thank you so much. You're welcome. That's where I was like, all right, I wasn't going to do it, but you guys wanted it, so here we are. I can't view the video, but I can see the chat. That's strange. I've heard that's been happening. It must be something with YouTube. Who the fuck knows? I'm sure you'll be able to watch the playback. I did, like, I'm starting to get copyright strikes on my intro, too, so I wonder if that's why... So I may have to change, like, the intro music or something. I'm like, listen, I licensed that shit and it's still getting struck. It is what it is. What is the one you used on my left side? Okay, let's give you guys the rundown. So this is the Ambient Edit, Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Universe. Or Universe Unlocked. Universe Unlocked, this is the universe. Boom. Boom. You guys could let me know which one is your fave. If you guys plan to pick it up, I do have it linked down below, but I would recommend, this is just me and my opinion, wait for the Sephora sale. You've got the friends and family sale that's coming up. You've got VIB sale that's coming up. These are limited edition technically, but they usually hang out for like the holiday season, like throughout December. Gift options, excellent for that, but you do not need to spend $80 on a face palette. Get it with a discount. It'll be there. And then not even just Sephora and Hourglass. Like, if it comes at Ulta, that's where I would definitely recommend getting it. But even with their shipping, just be careful because they don't package shit right either. Yeah. It just is what it is. So rude. I have large pores and textures. <laughs> Tough of my hooded eyes. I embrace that shit. Yes. 
<laughs> Electric fly zipper fun. Bye bye fly channel. Listen, Ronnie, thank you so much for the super chat. Y'all don't need to send me super chats, damn it. I have two fly papers up here. And that shit, that fly did not come out until I literally pressed live. These flies are something fierce this year. I don't understand. But even if I had the electric fly swatter during a video, I'm going to be like, bitch. <laughs> I about died, though. I forget who it was that said fly shadow. And I was like, how did we not? How, how did we not come up with that sooner? Because that was fucking everything. I restarted YouTube on my phone and it still didn't work. It took a few hours. It's got to be because it, it's got to be because of. I bet you I got struck again. Because basically, if I get struck, I just basically, like, delete the intro and outro. So maybe it's that. Let's see. It has the powder you like. The Ambient Infinity Powder, the lighter version does. This one does. It's this powder right here. I like I like all hourglass powders, though. So there's that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm glad I stuck with the lighter one waiting for my palette. Yes! Uh, let's see. Makeup is amazing no matter what your skin tone or type. I love makeup. It's so much fun. Let's see. This was so helpful. I was happy to see your live. Thank you, Debbie. I'm so glad to hear you guys say it was helpful. Makeup is beautiful. Yes. Listen, Amanda, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, guys. Other than that, I see there's 100 people watching. Hit the thumbs ups if you guys liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know your guys' thoughts always down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you don't plan on picking it up, that's fine too. If it's not for you, that's fine too. I appreciate you guys watching. And I will be back with what next. I'm not really sure, but turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye!